I was working with a uh, uh, oil company executives. There was a big conference that I was speaking at. And before it was my turn to speak, the uh, CEO of Exxon got up to give his speech. And in his speech, he said something that was kind of interesting. He said, we've got a problem that none of us have been able to solve. And that is protecting our offshore oil platforms from hurricanes. Hurricanes occur all over the planet. We have those platforms all over the planet. And some of them are worth over a billion dollars a piece. Not a million, a billion. So we suffer billions of dollars in damage every year from hurricanes. We have found no way to protect them from those rough seas. Secondly, we haven't been able to protect them from terrorists' attack. And then he went on with his speech. It was my turn to speak. I got up and I said, I heard about your problems on that uh, last presentation. Actually, there's a way you could solve both those problems. All you have to do is put the platforms at the bottom of the sea. And I said, now, five years ago, you couldn't do that. Ten years ago, you couldn't do that. But right now, you can do that. Think about it a minute. If it's at the bottom of the sea, you don't need cooks. You don't need uh, helicopter pilots. As a matter of fact, 85% of the people that are on the platform, you don't need. Their job isn't there anymore. And the 15% of the people that you still need actually can be undersea robots that are functioning right now at over a mile under the ocean. The reason you don't know about it is you're the CEO. Say, hey, talk to your engineers. And then I said, if you think about it, the oil is pumped from the bottom of the ocean up to the top of the platform, which is a long way up there, and then it goes back down to the bottom and into shore, wrong part of the triangle. Should just go right into shore. I went in, talked to him about that a little bit, then went on with my presentation. When I was finished, I said, you know, that's interesting. They got back to me about six months later and said, hey, we can do that. We can do that. Matter of fact, uh, Chevron got together with me recently, and they're uh, actually going to uh, be putting the first one out in about two and a half years. You'll be reading about it in USA Today and Wall Street, and, and it'll be on Business Week about them putting all these platforms at the bottom of the sea. Now, is the reason I thought of that solution, and they didn't, because I'm just smarter than they are? And the answer is, I don't think so. That's not it. I think the reason that I came up with that solution and they didn't is because for them, the solution was on the surface of the ocean. But I wasn't encumbered by that. You see, I think for us personally, we're really good at helping to find what the real problem is so that we can come up with the real solution. But often we don't apply those principles to ourselves and our industry. Right now, given the cutbacks that are taking place and what's going on with this economy, we need to do something that we've talked about but we haven't really acted on and that is the perception of what we do and who we are and what our value is. 